The thing that's missing here is the shrill of a thousand teenage girls that can be heard around the coaster every minute of the fair's annual two-week October run. The screams have been replaced for the past several months by the hammer and saw of workmen who are giving a facelift to the 30-year-old thriller. The comic coaster also has a new owner. Last fall, when the fair closed for the season, the state fair organization bought the ride from its longtime private owner and now has spent about $200,000 in purchase and refurbishing costs. It is at this point that some of us take a real growing and personal concern that what these workmen have been doing have been doing right. And hopefully, if they have, this is what it'll look like for you when the fair opens in October. The only thing the workmen were unable to fix is that sinking feeling one gets in the pit of his stomach on the back side of that first hill. Michael Brown, Channel 8 News at State Fair Park.